um, it's been a minute and it's good to be in front of my camera again so today i am going to be telling us um the things to consider before starting a youtube channel because so many people ask me oh i want to start a youtube channel what should i do what should i expect so i'm going to break it down into five major things that you should consider before you start a channel so the very first thing is do you have content that you want to put out there because you need to you need to have something in particular that you want to put out there or to different things but you should have it narrowed down to maybe two or three things in particular that you want to put out there through your channel that is content and with content it has to be consistent i know not all videos will do good but at least there should be consistency in your in your um content quality yeah so that's the first thing so the second thing is a strong heart because my people for you to start a youtube channel or for you to maintain a youtube channel you need to have a strong heart because sometimes i'll upload some videos and it will have just 100 views it will have 200 views i once had a video that stayed on 80 views for like four weeks for that's a month for like a month and you know i would be so down and sad like oh why are people not watching this video i said so many nice things i said so many good things why are people actually not watching this video so i i was like ah, did i do anything wrong why are people not okay i've said that several times yeah so you need to have a very strong heart for you to actually start a youtube video if your mind is very very fickle man i'd advise you not to start a youtube video a youtube channel because you would go into depression like you would slide into depression by yourself so the next thing you should consider before you start a youtube channel is time do you actually have time to create content do you have time to shoot videos do you have time to upload do you have time to do you, do you have time to follow up your videos check the progress because for me i'm a nursing student I go to school, I go for lectures, I, I go for clinical, sometimes you have to do my duties. So I have to like calculate. There are times that three months I don't put out anything, which um, sets my channel back because of consistency that I mentioned earlier. I lack consistency. But during this um, lockdown, um, this COVID lockdown period, I have put out more content than I have in the last one year. If you check, if you check my videos and you check the dates that I upload, you would see that. So, do you really have the time? Because YouTube shouldn't be something you would do for a while, then you go off, then you come back, then you go off. No, you already lack consistency. So, ask yourself, do you really have the time? So, um, the fourth thing is, do you have patience? Do you have patience? Can you endure so many things? Because there are some content you would upload and people would come for you. Are you strong enough? Do you have that patience to like just let people talk and not give a reaction? Do you have that patience? Some people will criticize your video that you put so much effort into. They will just talk like what you did was total rubbish because not everybody is good with constructive criticism. Some people will just talk to you like, ah, oh, what you did was complete rubbish. Do you have the patience to not let people do what people's words get to you? That is another thing to consider before you start a YouTube channel. Because if you do not have patience, you will end up fighting with so many people over what is not. Most times when people criticize me, I, I don't know, I have a thick skin. I, I take it in good faith. But honestly, I can differentiate between con constructive criticism and people that just want to talk and put me down and make me feel like what I am doing is... It's rubbish or like I will never make it being a youtuber or whatever so lastly what you should consider before starting a YouTube channel is do you have the equipment for um, do you have the equipment for filming for recording your videos and all of that so um, to record your videos if you do not want to invest so much in YouTube at first maybe you're not sure or you think it's not something you're going to do on the long run even I personally would not advise that you put so much of your uh, money to invest in buying filming equipment but if you have the money to spend then nothing should stop you 
you can you, you should shoot you can shoot with yeah, either your phone if you have a phone that has very good um camera quality yeah you could shoot with your phone then you should buy lights lights yeah ring lights led lights in fact there are so many things mics so that your audio can come out so 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 great yeah because if you want to put out good quality videos out there trust me you need this equipment but if youtube is not something you want to do for a very long time then i would advise you to just sit in front of your phone and record whatever you want to record and just and just like put it out there whoever will watch will watch so if you're just freelancing like just freestyling it's not something you want to take serious yeah so just just to record with your phone and upload it on your channel so now let me let me just say about three things on how to actually start a youtube channel so the first thing you have to do is to open a google account yes a google account because um google adsense youtube um gmail everything are like affiliations to um a google account actually so you have to open that then when you open a google account you have to open a youtube account these are like different accounts so you have to open a um a youtube account after you open a youtube account then you open a channel in your own name <laughs> so um opening a channel in your own name so now in choosing a name you should either go with a nickname that everybody knows you with or um or um something that your channel is about if your channel is about um food you should think of something that is relating to food if you're mainly going to be vlogging then you should choose a name that has to do with like vlogging or you can just put your name then put vlog at the back yeah then for me my channel is most uh, is like majorly about discussion talking about um different things th different happenings you know life situations opinions on certain situations so my channel's name is opinions with chigarita chigarita is my nickname yeah, Chigarita is my nickname, so I'm using opinions with Chigarita because that is what most people know. Most people don't even know my real name. Most people just call me Sugar, 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 Chigarita, Chigarita. So I stuck with I stuck with opinions with Chigarita. So um, those are like the three steps that will take you to like actually opening, um, actually creating a YouTube account. So after creating an account, you have to actually think of days that it will be convenient for you to put content out. For me right now, it's only possible for me, uh, though last year, this is my second year on YouTube, but my very first year, I don't think I put up to maybe 10, I don't even think I had up to 10 videos in one whole year. But this year, 2020 year 2020 i've done really well especially in the last three months because of the whole covid lockdown i've been indoors so i've just been shooting editing and putting out content but i wish we could like go out so i can bring more people to talk about different things so now i'm just limited to people i am in the same house with so now one of the things to also consider before you start a channel is do you have people that love you do you have people that would ride hard and strong for you because why i'm saying why i'm saying this is because when you start a youtube channel if you are not a, a celebrity like an already known person it is it will be kind of so difficult for you to get views so this is where your social media platforms come here you can actually share your um video links on these platforms but then it is only people on your contact that would watch now if you have good friends if you have great people behind you supporting you find what you're doing valuable and in fact it, it, it actually takes nothing away from them because on whatsapp if someone puts your link up it takes nothing away from them they might actually not even have the data or the time to watch your video but somebody on their contact will watch it now imagine you have 10 friends 10 of them put your link up, like 10 of them always help you put links up whenever you upload a video. Then they tell two of their friends that, please help me put this link up on your status. This is my friend does YouTube and she needs to get this. Now imagine 10 times 10 times. Do you know how many views you're going to get? So before you actually go, because sometimes it takes just one video for you to go viral and for you to get so many um, 
so many subscribers i remember there was a time i made a video i think it was a video about covid 19 um how you can like during the lockdown how you can still be productive and you know being locked down that's my video with the highest view presently it has over a thousand views because people were at home they had the time and everybody shared the link for me and they even told their own friends to share the link so that video had so many views and yeah shout out to everybody that put that puts up links for me i really appreciate you guys so do you have friends that would support you regardless of what you put out there do you have people that would ride hard for you ask yourself that before you start a youtube channel so um that will be all for today guys uh i hope i can make uh another video on this when i get monetized and tell you the actual steps to take to get monetized or how or my journey my journey so far to be monetized i'm definitely going to do a video on that so it's been great talking to you guys today and i'm going to see you in my next video like always don't forget to like share and subscribe people i notice that whenever i put out new videos it's like there are some people that used to forget that they already subscribed then they click the unsubscribe they click the unsubscribe button that's not fair guys i need as much subscriber as i can get and please don't stop sharing links for me my whatsapp fam you guys are like the absolute best please don't stop sharing links for me i love you guys a whole lot and i'll see you in my next video bye guys